you flinched when a plate full of food that you cooked with so much love and taking your time hit the floor and all the food shattered on the floor and the one who threw this plate was no other than your own husband he got up from the chair why do i even come here i feel suffocating in this house and this food you think it's made for humans even a dog won't eat it useless Tears spilled up in your eyes. His behavior was too harsh and is getting worse day by day. He picked the vase and threw it on the floor angrily, making you flinch and left the house in anger. Your vision got completely blurry as the tears blocked the light preventing you to see anything. Even after enduring so much insult each and every day, you still wake up every day with the hope you forgive him his behavior every day thinking that one day everything will be fine. One day he will accept you and notice your love but now you are losing that hope as well as he seems too harsh and a few days ago he even raised his hands on you you also don't know why you are enduring so much it's been 2 years to your marriage and his behavior even became worse than before you can't leave him because you love him you sat down and started to clean the floor while tears dropping from your eyes After cleaning all that you came into your bedroom you didn't eat anything and it was past midnight but your husband didn't come home for the past few months he barely come home and you're always afraid by his presence he never talked to you properly and is always cold and rude to you you fell asleep while waiting for him and the night turned into the next morning but he didn't come back You came in a cafe because you were not feeling good staying in that house all day. No matter how much you try to ignore those thoughts, it's just so hard to forget them when you were being humiliated in each corner of the house. Your order arrived and you thanked the waiter. Now that you are losing hopes and also realize that it's not easy. In fact, it's near to impossible that things will go any better in future as well. You looked outside the window when your heart dropped. You saw your husband who was supposed to be in Japan as he said it was a business trip. He was coming out from a medical shop and when you saw a woman in his car, you quickly stood up and went towards the window to see who is that. He was smiling. You were unable to see the woman's face. You quickly grabbed your purse and ran outside. Tears falling from your eyes while running outside. You collide with a person but you didn't pay attention as all you want to see is what your husband is doing with another woman. When you came outside, he already sat in his car and now you could see the woman because she was sitting near the window and you felt your world colliding because she was none other than his ex-girlfriend. They both kissed before he drove off. Your legs lose the balance and you grab the trunk of a tree for support. No, he can't. Tears were falling from your eyes. Now everything started to make sense to you. You still can't believe you were being lied to all this time. He humiliated you to hide his own mistakes. Are you okay? Someone asks you from the back. You turn back only to see the person whom you last met five years ago. You couldn't believe he was standing in front of you right now. Nothing matters to you. Your whole life just turned upside down, and you just found out that you were only being used for two years. He came near you, concerned to see your state. Ryan, is everything okay? You stood up properly and nodded. The guy who you bumped into earlier was him. That's when he saw you for the first time in five years. Yes, I'm good. How? I mean, when did you come back to Korea? You changed the topic and quickly wiped the tears, but Jungkook already saw your condition. It's been two months already. I'm handling my dad's business now. Oh, that's great. You were avoiding looking at him. But what did you make of yourself? You look so different. He was surprised to see your condition. You were completely different from the girl he left. 
I don't know. I think I'm the same. Maybe we are meeting after so long. Let's talk inside. You looked at him. I'm sorry. I have to go. Let's meet an- another time. You were holding back your tears and you didn't want to make him upset by your condition. As you wish, but can I get your number? I think you have changed it. You nodded and typed your number in his phone before saying goodbye and left. Jungkook watched your disappearing figure. He never thought he'll come back to see you change completely. Jungkook was your high school friend. You used to share everything with him. Your friendship was good as well and he has a crush on you but he never able to confess his feelings. After that he had to leave for higher studies in another country. He promised himself that he will tell you af- about his feelings once he comes back. And from past two months he was trying to find you but you met him like this, a completely different Vian. The one whose face used to be all bright and chill now looks so sad and dull. He looked at his phone and saved your number. Never knew five years make such a big difference. Why do I feel like you are not happy? His driver came so he sat in the car and left. You were sitting in the dark room, only the table lamp was on and your tears were visible. Everything, every effort that you made to improve this relationship, which were never yours, are now waste. Your parents turned you in this marriage. Initially, you were not ready because you had feelings for someone who was with you in your hard times. But when he left you and you both didn't share a word afterwards, you decided to start your life without him. You thought you will get the love you deserve and that's why you were putting efforts but all you got is betrayal and cheating. You wiped your tears and sat down properly before grabbing your phone and dialed a number. You waited for the person to answer the phone. After a lot of rings, like he usually do to pretend that he's busy, he answered and speak in the same annoyed tone. How many times I have told you not to disturb me when I am out on work trips? You controlled your anger. How many days will it take you there in Japan? Your hands were clenched in a fist. So now you started questioning me, huh? What would you do if I tell you? Nothing, just want to know. And you ended the call. Yeah, how dare she? He got pissed when you ended the call. What happened? She came near him. Nothing. That woman is just out of my tolerance now. I just want to get rid of her. I feel disgusting. She put her hand on his shoulder. Then why are you still keeping her in your house? Why don't you divorce her? He looked at her. I want to. But I don't want to take all the blame on me. What would people think? If you're talking about your parents, let them think. They force you to marry her. It's not working then. Now you can take your decision. I'm also giving you a choice now. She got up making him confused. What do you mean? Let's not meet from now on. I feel like other women because everyone called her your wife. And to be honest, I'm done. Now it's her or me. You have to choose. He got up and came near her. You know that you are the one I love. Just give me some time. My parents will kick her out anyways as she can't even get pregnant. She's of no use. Just wait for some time. We'll get married soon. She looked at him and shook her head. Then let's continue it when we get married. She wore her clothes and left from there. Didn't even stop when he tried to stop her. He was so angry. It's all because of that stupid fine. He picked the pillow and threw it. Thanks for coming in. I'm sorry I disturbed you. It's okay. I was free anyways. Your eyes were still low and you were fidgeting with your fingers. He noticed that. 
you got married i didn't even get to know that someone got so lucky to get you you slowly shifted your eyes at him he wasn't looking happy but have a smile on his face a forced one i'm sorry i didn't have your number and i didn't even know how to reach you so it's okay as long as you are happy i'm fine with it so won't you introduce me to him You tried to suppress your tears. Your throat was so heavy that you have to drink water. I'm sorry I'm trying to be nosy in your personal space. It's just things have changed a bit I guess. There were no secrets between us back in the days. You remember that? You tried to force a smile. Time changes everything. By the way, what about you? You got anyone? He smiled. I never tried to approach anyone actually. I thought I'll get her but seems like it's too late. I delayed. You were clueless about what he was talking about. He chuckled when he noticed your expressions. I decided to work on my career. Let's see what happens in the future. Are you happy now? Your smile faded away and you swallowed. Yes, just accepting my fate. If your relationship with him was like how it was 5 years ago, you would have just cried on his shoulder and tell him everything. But now you realize how growing up messes up with everything. You don't want to make him worried because of what's happening in your life. Things are not the same anymore, at least not for you. So, will I get to see your husband? I'm just curious. You looked at him. Your eyes got glossy and Jungkook knew something is wrong, but he wanted to see how much you have changed. Will you tell him or hide the truth from him? I will surely introduce you to him someday. He he is in Japan right now. You were shuddering because you never lied to him about anything. I will wait. Turn out that the company your so-called husband works in is owned by Jungkook's father and he's the CEO and already know him. Jungkook was now a little suspicious because that day you told him that he was in Japan for a business trip, but he did not remember sending any employee to Japan that week. Somehow you have to tell him everything because he insisted. He knew you are not happy in this relationship. You told him everything from start to finish. You told him that how he is cheating on you. Jungkook was so sad to hear your life story. He was angry on himself that he didn't tell you about his feelings, but he still doesn't know whether you like him or not. You finally found someone with whom you can share your pain and sorrow. He is the same as he was earlier, but at the same time you were enduring Neil who was more aggressive now you didn't tell him anything about jungkook i'll go now it's getting late jungkook nodded remember what i have said just don't let yourself get lost in this you nodded today you just decided to take a very big decision for yourself and it was only possible because of jungkook that you are so confident bye And you left from there. Junko kept looking at your disappearing figure. I wish I could erase all that pain from your memory. I never thought it will be so late in five years. I wish I could have come back earlier. You sat on the bed. Your thinking has changed a lot in these few weeks when Junko again came back in your life. He was always your savior. He used to listen to you when you complain about those bullies. He used to protect you from them. And just like that, he is ready to give advice to you now. You realize that he didn't change a bit. He is that same Jungkook. You are happy that you still have someone that you blindly can trust. You looked at your purse and took out the divorce papers. You decided not to live in this marriage anymore. I will prefer to live by myself. You signed the papers. Neil was going towards his room when he heard your phone ringing. 
he picked it and checked the caller id when he saw jungkook's name displayed on it his blood boiled already he was pissed with your change in behavior and attitude lately he angrily called your name you came out of your room and saw him looking at you as if he's going to choke you right now what happened who is he who is this guy and why is he calling you you came there and took your phone from his hands why are you sneaking into my phone he was so furious with your response and grabbed your arm tightly that literally gave you pain is he jungkook what's that are you cheating on me ha huh? Your eyes fill with tears but more than that anger. He pulled you closer to him before grabbing your chin with his other hand. Freaking answer me. I can see why you are changing so much these days. You are having a fair outside, right? Yes. Yes, I have. Why are you mad? Why are you mad when you are doing the same thing or because she is not ready to meet you anymore? He looked at you shocked. What? You thought you were going to fool me for the rest of the life, huh? I'm just an object to endure your frustration and anger, right? You are the shittiest man in this world. How dare you to talk to me that way? He raised his hand to hit you but got shocked when you grabbed it in the midway. He was shocked to see this side of you. I can do the same. Don't force me now. Just go back to that woman you are having fun all the time. You went inside your room and came back with divorce papers before throwing them on his face. I have signed them. I don't want anything from you. Just leave me alone. I don't want to ruin myself for a jerk like you. And you think I can't get pregnant because there's a fault in me? You better get your checkup done because I am all fine. You yourself is a fault. You left from there while he looked at the divorce papers which you already signed. You should have done that a long time ago. I can't believe you endured all that for two years. You were standing silently. Jungkook's heart was aching to see your condition. He walked near you and gently embraced you in his arms. I'm proud of you. You finally burst into tears. Things were really hard for you and you were enduring them because you had no one by your side who can listen to you. Your parents used to judge you and told you not to complain about every small thing. You left with no one but loneliness just like in the past and once again Jungkook proved to be an angel. Now I just want to live in peace. I'm so tired. I'm so tired of all this pain. My chest feels so heavy. He broke the hug and looked at you. Can you give me a chance? You looked at him surprised. I promise you that I will bring back that cheerful vibe again. I always wanted to tell you how much I love you but never did. Now I regret it. Your heart skip a beat. He held your hands in his gently. I regret it because if I told you how much I love you before going to the US, you wouldn't have to bear all this. I would have never let you suffer this much. Tears fell from your eyes. Why? Why do you want to do all that for me? Because you are the only girl I have ever loved. I wanted to come back to you to finally tell you what you mean to me. How much I miss you every single day, but it was too late. Please give me a chance, Vyan. Just try. You lowered your eyes while he was waiting for you to say something. I waited for you. You finally said it, and his heart skipped a beat. I also waited for you for 3 years but I lost my hopes when you went too far. I had to marry him and tried my best to be a good wife. He again hugged you. You are always perfect. You don't have to change yourself for anyone. And I'm so sorry but I won't leave you again. Never. I promise you. You hugged him back and closed your eyes while tears fell from your eyes. <laughs>